Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is remove duplicates from an unsorted linked list. And it is an easy level problem. So the problem statement says that we have been given an unsorted linked list of n nodes. So there will be n nodes and we have to remove duplicates from it. And in case there are duplicates, we have to keep the node which appeared first among all of them. So for example, in this case, we have 5, 2, 2, 4. We are going to keep this particular 2 and we are going to discard this 2. So uh, in this particular example, no matter what, uh, which of them you take, the answer is always going to be the same. But I will show you an example where the answer might differ. Also, the time and space complexity is both O of n and uh, we can also have a look at this particular data. They say that the numbers in the list or the value in each node is up to 10 to power 4 only. Right. So we will try to solve it in O of n, both space and time and let's see how we can solve it. First of all, I wanted to discuss an example in which the node which we remove actually changes our answer. So for example, if 5 is like this, then we have 2, then we have 3, then we have 2 and then let's say we have 10. Right. So if we remove this particular 2, the final linked list is going to be 5, 3, 2, 10. If we remove this particular 2, the final linked list is going to be 5, 2, 3 and 10. So you see these two linked lists will be a little bit different and the correct one is this one. As the question has already mentioned, whenever we encounter multiple numbers, we have to only keep the first among them. So what you can do is, first of all, you will have to maintain any data structure which will help you to count the frequencies of each of these elements. Right. So let's say you have a frequency vector. Let's say we have a vector of for frequency. Now the size of this vector will be 10 to the power 4. Let's say we take some extra values. So why 10 to the power 4? Because the no values in the nodes is up to 10 to the power 4 only and we have taken plus 10 just to have a safe upper bound. Right. So now once we have this vector of frequencies, whenever I encounter an element, let's say I encounter 5 first. So I will increment the frequency of 5. So whenever I do plus plus frequency of 5, it is going to become 1. Now I encounter a number 2, I am going to increment its frequency. So it is going to be plus plus frequency of 2 and it is going to be 1. Now in the third step, I am going to increment the frequency of 3. So it is going to be plus plus frequency of 3 and it is going to be 1 as well. Now as soon as I encounter the second 2 and I do plus plus frequency of 2, you will see it will become 2. So this value 2 indicates that this is the second number and there has been already one more 2 present before it. So whenever the frequency of the current element is greater than 1, that means it is a duplicate element and we want to remove it. Right. So this is how you can identify first that which are the nodes that you have to remove. Now that you know that I want to remove the current node, how are you actually going to remove it? So let's say the link list is like this. So this is 5, then this is 2 and then the next is 3. And then the next is 2 and then the next is 10. Now as soon as you reach this particular node with this with the help of this frequency vector you will be able to identify that you want to remove this node. So how will you actually remove this particular node? For each of those nodes you are also going to maintain a previous node. right? So whenever you come to this particular node 2 you will already know what is the previous node before this particular node. So in this case, it is this node with the value 3. Now, if you want to remove this particular node, you will simply, simply remove this particular link and set the next of the previous node as the next of the current node. So basically, what I am doing is, I am just uh, cutting this particular link from here. I am removing this link and setting this link to the next of the current node. So whenever we are traversing the link list the next time, we are just going to come to this node and directly skip the node in between and jump to the next node. Right. So now when I come to this particular node, the previous, remember, the previous is still going to be the same because this node is not counted now. Right. So to even save some memory, you can also de delete this node from the memory, but it is not at all necessary. It will just, uh, if you try to print the linked list, it will directly jump from 3 to 10. So this was the case when you want to remove the current node. And in this case, remember our previous is not going to change. Right. Because after 3, now 10 will come and the previous of 10 will still be 3. Right. Now let's say what happens in the case when you don't want to remove a node. So after 5, there is 2 and after 2, there is 3. Right. 
So what happens in this case, let's say you are at this particular node and you don't want to remove it. You will do nothing. You will just update your previous as the current node and then you will move your pointer to the next node. Right. So the only difference in these two cases is in whenever you want to delete a current node in that particular case, you will set the next of the previous node to the next of the current node and then increment your pointer to the next node that is 10 in this case. And whenever you don't want to remove the current node, you will just update your previous as the current node and then you will move on to the next node. Right. So this is all you had to do in this particular problem. Now talking about the time and space complexity, you are just traversing through the linked list. So it is obviously going to O of n time and for the space complexity, I would say in the average case, it is going to be O of n. Why? You will see that the uh, size of the linked list that is n is up to 10 to the power 6. So let's say if you wanted O of n, uh, worst case space complexity, right? So when the value of n is 1, the space complexity will be 1. When the value of n is 2, the space complexity will be 2 and so on up to 10 to the power 6, right? If you add all of these values and divide it by 10 to the power 6, this is roughly coming out to be 10 to the power 5. Right, which is even more than what we normally have that is 10 to the power 4. So if we are taking all the values and taking its average, so it is coming out to be 10 to the power 5 and we already have it around 10 to the power 4. So the average case complexity is somewhat similar to O of n and we can definitely use this particular frequency vector. Right. So let me just show you the code. So in this case, what you will see is I created a frequency vector of size 1e4 plus 10, that is 10 to the power 4 plus 10. Now I initialize my no, previous node with null pointer and I my current node with, with the head. Now what I do is I just uh, run this while loop while current is not equal to null pointer. That means while I have not reached the end of the linked list. I'll update the frequency of the current element in my frequency vector. And if the frequency of this uh, current element is greater than 1, then I'll set my link of previous.next is equal to current.next. Otherwise, I'll just update my previous as current and in both of the cases, I'll still have to update my pointer to the next node, right? So this is current is equal to current.next. Now, after this uh, loop has been completed, I can just directly return my head and this would be my final solution. So let me just submit this code and show you that this particular code works. So you see it passes all the test cases and this solution is absolutely correct. So I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and you'll be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you're one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of cost and you can also unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends. Until the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe. Bye-bye.